How's it going, everyone? It's Chris yet again with another free-for-all brawl. We are playing Azusa Lost But Seeking. This is basically just get as much possible mana out there to play these giant massive beaters. Just spam the board with as many things as possible because we just want to like, get a ton of mana out there. There's a bunch of ramp, a bunch of additional mana. There's like, like 40 lands in this thing. It's insane. Azusa Lost But Seeking is two and a green for a one, two human monk. You may play two additional lands on each of your turns. Pretty amazing ability. We want to just get as much mana as possible on the battlefield, then swing in with the yeah, things like the Great Henge, Crater of Behemoth, Turn Timber Symbiosis, Thorn Mammoth puts in some serious work too, Ugin the Ineffable. These are cards that, without having enough mana out there fast enough, you wouldn't be able to play these creatures or these spells. Now with Azusa, we can potentially get 5 mana, 6 mana on turn 3, if not turn 4. Accelerating our board state way faster than ever before. We're going to play again as usual 5 games. We're going to see how well we do with the Azusa. I played a bunch of these games. It can do pretty well, but again, it's almost a glass cannon if you don't have anything to use that mana for. So let's just get right into those games and see how well Azusa, Lost But Seeking, does an historic brawl today. Alright, the very first game we have Tasek Karlov card that I'm going to be playing later on, so let's see what we have here. Zendikar's Royal is a great start. No additional ramp. I might... So the thing is, Zendikar's Royal is very good, especially when you have the Ashai on the battlefield. But I don't really have anything till turn 3 or 4, and I don't have more than 3 lands, so I'm going to mulligan this down. This is a little bit better. I do have the Tyler's Provisioner. I'm going to keep this in. So I do have a turn two Kansas transformation if need be. All right, no, there's no need for that. So I'm going to get down the tireless provisioner first, just because I think that's going to be the best value. Once we get more lands out, you know, we could probably swing in. I don't see why they wouldn't. Wrath effect. Ooh, borrowed time. So this is it's good that I played that out first. All right. Let's do. Let's get that going. Bring that back in. They are going to get a land, which is a little unfortunate with the Bazajus. But this way, we have the ability to like start going through. So we're going to get a treasure token, cast Azusa, land. Treasure, land, treasure. All right, so next turn, I'm going to put the, the Kenneth's Transformation on the Tesla, and probably at that point, it's just going to be done on their regard. Because I know they're going to cast it right now. I don't see why they wouldn't. Ooh, a wedding announcement, actually. Did not think that was going to come through. All right, passes through. I'm going to swing. I'm not going to block. Oh, they just let it be. Okay, my turn. Here comes the Ashaya. Yeah. I'm just gonna like, let's swing, cause the more creatures I get, the more they're gonna not be lands, which will trigger the Tireless Provisioner more. I want them to bring down Tesa. Then I can can this transformation on the Tesa, but they're probably gonna try to work with the Ashaya right now. Fashion of Remembrance. They're trying it. And then Tabarix Hope's Demise has Lifelink as long as it has five more counters. One other creature, non token, dies, put a counter on it. Okay. Alright. What again else with triggers? We'll just do this right now. It's getting Kogla on the Tabarix. That'll die. I'll take the one life. I'll just make more treasures. Is it a human? No, it's Elf Scout. Human. Alright, I have that ability if need be. Swing in with this. They have to block it. I'm obviously going to block with their 1-1s. One like, that's okay. I'm basically waiting for them to get tasted down there so then I can actually put the Ken the Transformation on the card. 
All right, there we go. Now can now she's out here. That's fine. All right, winning announcement comes down. It flips over. That's the problem now. Let's put this on her. Draw a card. Explore. Draw a card. Land, land. This is when it equals the number. I can't remove one. Because I want to activate it. Because obviously they'll just block this. So now that it's an elk, the problem is this uh, wedding announcement's there. Ooh, destroys an artifact. Alright, that's gonna start swinging through. Alright, bounce this. Hand this. I have no choice. I'm going to take a lot of damage right now, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I almost died. Okay. Let's make this a thing. Destroy that, finally. Fully okay with this. I'm sure taste is gonna come down again. Yep. Because the thing is, like now it's just chilling. All right. That, there we go. Starting to roll things through. This is not human, right? Yeah, not human. So now the fact is that that wrath didn't kill everything because I had the Kogla ability. Yeah, they're just, they're just trying to figure out what they want to do. Because I'm at 8, so it's like so close. But the thing is, they have no cards in their hand. few counters on this. So if need be, I can the following turn work with that. Do a land. I'll flash it in if I have to. Alright, boom. Sweet. So here's the thing. The Wrath was the right time to do it in a sense because my board was starting to grow pretty well. But having the Bastion now be destroyed, I don't think they saw that with the Kogla. So we are 1-0. and oh. Let's get right to the next game. 1-0. Oh. Ooh, we are facing a new one, Yemen Artok. So this is something I want to play myself, but I'm like kind of like not sure how to go. Well, Yemen Artok is a polar bear, and that's kind of the reason why I want him. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. I they go first. That's fine. All right. So it's giant bear. It's hexproof. It hasn't been dealt damage yet. 
When it deals combat damage to a player, create a food token. Pretty cool. Sacrifice what food? Drive the car from your Ormorok's thing. Oh my god, there's six. It's just a bunch of fish. Oh, I am so building that next. <laughs> All right, turn one. I'm gonna do an Elvish uh, Land War Elves. So I have the Scoot Swarm. Here's the thing, like Jahira. Its ability in actual cards is tokens have tapped that mana. Now it's hex from artifact. Like, what does that do? Let's get this out there. So next turn, Azusa, Scooty. That's probably the best option. Denatra land. Okay. That's unfortunate. Victory. I will not count that though. So we'll do like dash one. So those are gonna put us like the games people like didn't play out. Cause I've been seeing that more often lately that people aren't playing the deck out if they don't have a great hand. So I'm gonna just put that as like a one oh and one to determine how many games that did not go through all the way. All right, we are facing Nickel Bowles, the Ravager. Good thing that was that last game. I now know I want to play a fish deck. All right, this one. Nothing too grand. I'm going to mold this down. This is a lot of lands, but I do have a Once Upon a Time, which is solid. Let's just get that right away. More lands, sure. Terramorphic. So turn four Nissa. Look at this, six lands and a Nissa. All right, Mind Stone. Not gonna destroy that. Not worth it. Get them, like, kill a land for a land almost. Yeah, it's fine. Resolve this. Get rid of the, the forest that they know. All right, land. All right, so up ticket. That six takes four. Nickel Bolas is definitely not a great card to face because of the amount of like destroy effects, wrath effects, and all kinds of like that. A lot of edicts too. Right, they have five mana. This costs seven, right? Yeah, seven mana to flip it open. So you're going right to the destroy effect. This is four to activate. Take the action. Pass. Take the four. Go to 23. Alright, so I play this. I can play those two lands. I'm actually, yeah. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Oh, candles. Coven. That's pretty cool. Alright, land on top. So I have plenty of mana right now, but I got like I have nothing to do with the mana. Oh, they took the life on that one. Always be weird when someone takes like they're at five mana and they take another one out. All right, destroy the devil. Well, it's good that they're, they're playing that now. All right, here comes Narset. It's an Aurens Epiphany. Yeah. So 
So, like, I want to do it. No attacks. So I can obviously remove from combat with the Labyrinth of Safalala. That's a seven drop. Did not get a land. Did get that though. That's unfortunate. Are these elementals? Yeah, they are. Okay. That's good at least. All right, Dragon's Horde. I'm assuming they're going to. How do they have everything? See what I'm saying? Like this is what a nigga bull is like. It's just destroy everything, you know. All right, Scoot Swarm is gonna die either way, probably. Oh yeah, because they have the that out there, so it's to fix the purpose. Alrun's Epiphany makes sense. Chandra minus three. Take the action, doesn't make a difference, it's seven. Ashaya. At least I have an Ashaya now. I'm assuming I'll run to Epiphany right now. Or a flip. All right, got the emblem. I'm 100% just gonna swing into it, you know? There's the Alruns. Take four, go to 19. There's no way to remove emblems. So, like, it just blows my mind how at this point in this game that there's still no way to remove emblems. Sarkin, what does this do? Add two mana. Discard draw. Wondrous Rider comes down. Have a blocker though. All right, take some damage. Draw another land. I'm dying either way, so why not just swing house, you know? Alright. That puts it at the bottom. End the turn. That just removes it. All right, I take three. Yeah, that's game. I there's no way to beat that. All right, one and one. There was no way that I was gonna be able to beat Everything destroys 24-7. There's no way. All right, next game. All right, we are facing a Yorion Sky Nomad. Right, opening hand. Not the best of openings, but I do have the Crucible and the Kenrith. Go we'll turn one. Maybe turn two. Cancel this. Oops, wrong one. This is a five drop, so it takes some time to get in there. Was that the right play? Yeah, that's what I thought. It'll be kind of either way. It's a blue deck, you know. Celestis. I swing at a counter on it, so that's good. All right. 
put them there. I want to search for a creature and gain seven life. Me. I want to tend to shroot. I'm gonna go with the tent to shoot right there. Now I'm gonna do this. Cause the thorn mammoth can just keep like killing things off. Pro white, and I don't have any white creatures, so it's fine with me there. I'm assuming Yorion's coming down. But I do have the God Pharaoh. I might do a God Pharaoh. That would really slow them down, you know? They have one, two, three, four, five. Spark doubles it. That's okay. I'm kind of okay with this right now. So, God Pharaoh. Draw a card. The land, play the land. Yeah, cool. Things cost two more now. And the next turn, I'll start getting the Thorn Mammoth stuff down. Seiju, look for two basics. Yeah, they're going right to the swing. Which I figured as much, you know. Maybe a scry? What is this? A planes. Are they just passing through? They put a, a rune? You pay four mana for a rune. Okay. Yeah, Thorn Mammoth. Kill this. Get this. Swing it with this. Pay the one. Get a Tome Counter. Draw a card. Solemn. So they play the creature. I'll just obviously destroy the Archon. Oh no, they blocked with a zero four. Oh, I'm gonna die. Alright, gain two life. Land. I cost seven. Are they gonna cast the Orion right now? Oh, they are. Why does that trigger first? Is it only my creatures? Oh yeah, under my control. Get those, draw a card. Alright. Make this an elk. Draw a card. Solemn. To fight this. Basic land. Take the action. Basic land. Resolve. Land. The Seiju. Two basic lands. I'm not going to play them. Just because... Well, I'm going to swing then because I want to get another page comb counter on it. I'm fully okay with that. Take the action, put it back over there because it's only a 5 drop now. Archon and Spark on the bin. Ooh, a Mind Flare. I'm just going to take that. Why wouldn't you? Pop this here. Take the action. Ooh, great hench. Okay. So. And then I have remaining one, two. Play a land. I know it's a little eh. Land, land, this. Sacrifice the land. All right, I'm going to take a hit right now. 
Uh, like six, nine, twelve. Go to nine. No blocks. Probably not the right choice, but... So much mana, you know. Flickers that out. Are they going to flicker... Fight it so it defeats the purpose of that. Flickers this, fights this. That's dead. All right, enters, gets a counter. Boog in the ineffable. Destroy this. Gain some life, draw a card. Each creature with flying. A sorcery. Do I just get all of them? Let's just chill for a second. Have that fight this. Gonna land, resolve, fight. Play a land for turn, end the turn. Resolve all. That comes back. Scratch two. So it's one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. They have enough to do it right away. Bottom, bottom, draw. I might just get all the lands out of my deck at this point. Three draw. Makes it become knight. Pass my turn. All right. Let's do ten lands. One, two. Let's go with the good ones. Six, seven, eight. Field. Sacrificing this. And that. This. That fights this. Resolve it. Mars Bastion. Proliferate. Submit the five. Buff this up. Fight this. Resolve this. Good game. That was close. That was a good one. All right. We are two and one. Next to the game. All right, let's go. All right, we are facing a Zeatora the Incinerator. It is like the fling base commander. Okay. Turn, I, they go first. It's reasonable, I'm gonna keep it. Not the greatest of opening hands. But turn two, spinner, turn three, some more stuff. Gadrick. Great card for a sack deck. They're not swinging in. Interesting. Oh, I messed that one up. They're both human, so I can't activate the migratory great horn. That has to mutate in order to look for the basic land. 
I was not going to do anything with it. Mine stone comes down. Doesn't swing in. Interesting. All right. Land and land. Land, land, land. No attacks. I'm leaving the, um, the Labyrinth back, obviously, for a swing effect. Because Zeotor... Oh, wow. Zeotor's not coming down right now. Kind of thought it was going to. All right. They're starting to go off now. I need something to work with. All right. Doesn't get any buffs, so just let that be. My turn. More lands. Ugh. Do I do that? It's gonna fall off though, right? Like if I do this, I'm like it's. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fall off. Over this, get a land. It's a beast citizen that taps her mana. No attacks. What's gonna happen? It just stays. Oh, that's cool. It just becomes a creature. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, Frog Hemoth. So the problem is I have now no creatures to work with. So they're just like going off right now. Especially with that, the Great Hens just swing house. All right, swings full. I'm gonna block this, block that. That way nothing dies. I'll take a hit in the air of 10. That's fine. Resolve this. Resolve my turn. All right, Mammoth. Resolve that. So I gotta sacrifice it, obviously. That's fine with me. So I got rid of a flyer. That's the big thing I need to do is get rid of that flyer. Does it have haste on it? No haste. Garouk. Ick. Not good. Are they they're probably going to destroy it. I don't, yeah, exactly. I don't see why they wouldn't do that. Kill the goose, draw a car. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Now they're going off. Man, that's going to be gone. Cold Steel Heart. Just the frog? Interesting. That costs four. Let's do this. Bro, oh, it's got trample. Who the who gives a shit? <laughs> I'm like, what's the point? It's got trample. Put this on that. It's still a 5-5, but like... I'm digging, you know? 
Ugh, a field? Really? A field? It's something. Let's destroy the triple land. Imagine that was the Kratos on top. No attacks. It lost the ability, but I'm at nine, so I kind of have to block. I have no choice. Oh, that's going to be game. I'll let him just do his, their turn. Yep. Yeah, okay, game. Yeah, so the thing is, like, they, I didn't draw any creatures at all the entire game, so they just, they just chilled. All right, that puts me at two and two, one to go. Let's see if I can at least get the three and two. That would be nice, but we shall see. Next game. All right, last game we are playing Nickel Bolus God Pharaoh. That is unfortunate. Two battlefields. It is a seven drop, so I have some give at least. I'm gonna mull this down because there's nothing to work with. Not any better. All right, last one. All right, let's put this at the bottom. All right. So potentially, I'll be getting somewhere. Tasha's their uh, emote is pretty cool. All right, let's do Ghost Quarter. Let's sacrifice this land. We got two basics. So next turn, Provisioner for three. Land, that, pop around. Hopefully I get another land. That'd be cool. But I did not. All right, so Provisioner. Counter? Or destroy this make a treasure it's already in the stack though all right make a treasure I'm not gonna do anything with this there we go so I knew they had something there was no way they didn't have something next one I'm gonna do is the kinder just the shared summer sound it out Chris the shared summonings, summons. All right. I do have the option of the Ugin Ineffable. Is that indestructible? Yes, it is. Put this on that. Make a treasure. Different names. Oh, all right, sweet. Victory on that one. All right, so there we go. We ended up at three and one, not too bad. It was a quick one on that one, but I had plenty of land, so we'll take that win. All right, let's go with a quick review and we'll get from there. All right, so that was the Azusa Lost But Seeking deck. As you can see that, it can get a lot of mana out there very, very fast, but I need to get more draw effects in this deck. I noticed that once I have all the mana on the battlefield, and if I'm not doing anything with it, you're just literally sitting there as an open, open target, pretty much. Overall, the deck did pretty well. We ended at 3-2, and two, which is a moderate overall deck quality. I always say if you get at least three woods, you're doing pretty well. Because The thing I definitely want to focus on a little bit more would be to get more, like, finishers in the deck. Because I said, there's plenty of ramp, but they, that finishes out there. Without having the proper, like, draw engines or something like that, you're just not going to get that, that finish. Overall, the deck did pretty well. I'm pretty stoked. Again, my name is Chris from One More Game MTG. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Find me on Instagram and Twitter and Twitch now. Thanks for watching. Peace.